dog in here? Well, hello there, Princess Princess Tard. You in your princess dress? What's his name again? Fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy it's was a, a bear. And it's a she. Oh, a she. my bad. It's a she. What's your little thingy's name? Mm. That's my unicorn. 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 Oh, come on. You can't come up with something more original than that. How about Unicus the Unicorn? Can we call him that? Or is it a boy or is it a girl? It's a girl. Dang it. Why are all unicorns girls? Hey, so we are headed right now to the studio at Maker Maker to uh, shoot a music video for Courtney Pants. Courtney loves unicorns, and so the girls are going to go be a part of this unicorn melee, and they brought their little unicorns and their princess dresses. So it is gonna be a fun-filled dandy of a day, I can just already tell. It's gonna be magical. Look how fabulous you look right now. You know, like your lips and your color <laughs> scheme is going on. <laughs> it's pink because I put something. It's called pink on it. It's slim so cheese. It's definitely not, not salmon. Slim ew. Because Carly does box. not like fish. One day I we had bagels and cream cheese on them, and I was like spreading on this pink cream cheese, like thinking oh, it was strawberry. strawberry. It was awesome. Lox fish cream cheese. Oh, I don't like fish. I would not. Oh, like that. I was what is gagging. That for me? <laughs> That makes me laugh so much because she hates fish <laughs> with a passion. Does not like seafood. You hate fish? Oh, I, I think you're sitting right here. I, I this is your hot seat. We got Ale. Oh boy. Ale, oh, I and love the course, red. I had a crush on one. All right, guys. It's so pretty. Quiet on set, so she can do okay. a sound check. Sound check, guys. Remember. Do you guys want to be here for the sound check? You have to be quiet. It's ginger in that game. I picked up ginger from the airport this morning, so she can be on the mom's view. episode of the Moms We're trying to get three episodes in today. Jose, seriously? My head is almost so <laughs> right? You almost took out Carly with the boom. Part two. Part two, love you again. Somebody hates me and I think it's Jose. I wish you guys could see all the behind the scenes stuff because it's funny. Sometimes there's a lot of funniness going on. Like Kurt and his shirt today. Kurt, what does your shirt say? <laughs> Yeah, it, up. Uh, it says murder by death. I think it's funny. And that's usually Kurt's attitude, so it fits him really well. And we're here with Deanna. Hi. Hi. She is a mo mother of the world, is your YouTube, yes. right? Mother of the world. Mother of the world. And she's amazing. I actually met her at, uh, was it Playlist <laughs> Live in Florida, in the ladies' room. It was just the two of us. <laughs> just the two of us. In the ladies' room. That's really weird. I know, but... Yes, I met her in the ladies' room at Playlist Live, and we had a great conversation. She has an awesome channel, you should check it out. And she's adopted, how many? Adopt five. Adopted five kids, you have two of your own. Four countries. So you have three countries and the United States. Two of these five adopted. Five adopted. So seriously, you want to talk about being an amazing mom? Let's go. Thanks for wearing my shirt. Yeah, see? You like my nice shirt? The flower. It looks good. It's so nice. You're so sweet. Yes, or mother of the world or, or, or YouTube mother of the world. We're doing our second ep second episode with her. We just filmed with Ali, Trippy, and then we'll have Ginger on the third one. So busy long day, and then tomorrow we're headed to VidCon. Okay. So I'll right, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Today, right now, we're eating. Isn't that exciting? And it's amazing. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Especially amazing. That's my lazy eye. Give him the lazy eye. Yeah. 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 She's dressed for the occasion. Yes. I'm underdressed. I'm so sorry. The There's the viewer. Oh! oh. She lost 100 pounds. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I have to hug 
<laughs> Hugs for mommy card. I remember now the picture. I remember what. Were you wearing a dress in your after picture? Yeah, I totally remember it. Yeah. So we're here eating, and uh, we said all former fatso's show up at Tony P's, and me and her, we're gonna have a uh, steak together. <laughs> so I came to this place trying to do that. Always like. Right? Well, say hi to the kids. You want to poke them or something? <laughs> what a moment. That's cool. She, if you go back and watch probably like two Shay Loss videos ago, she was in the before and after pictures that we're posting. Uh, go check it out. Well, Denise, put a link. I'll tell you which picture it is. And you're just here visiting? Yeah. Are you going to VidCon? No. You're just visiting. We're visiting for school. Oh. Hey. here like singing to himself yeah. and talking to himself. We're just here at Tony P's eating. We actually just met Nina who lost a hundred pounds. She just happened to be in LA looking at colleges and she came to Tony P's because we talk about Tony P's a lot and we happened to meet her so that was really exciting. Nina, congratulations on losing a hundred pounds. You're amazing. Um, really inspiring. She's a good fan. She's wonderful. Are you guys excited to eat here at Tony P's again? We've actually done really well about not eating out, so this is sort of a little splurge for us. Um, I just ate too many appetizers and I'm stuffed. Oh well, I'll still eat my salad and soup. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> your, teeth are, your teeth are getting too big now. They're not gonna fit on your teeth anymore. That's what you get for growing. Stop growing already. Arr, arr, give me teeth. Salad. Blah, blah, blah. Mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. Fries. Baby. Uh, Mac, baby. Uh. <laughs> nice. Maybe you should use your spoon instead of your hand. French fries, French fries, white. French fries. Oh, I don't know, just one, something people do. Do you guys have a smudge? Hold on, let me help. That's better. You look better. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Hey, what's your problem? I want dessert, Mom, but it's not Saturday. I know, I feel the same way. <laughs> we want dessert. No dessert. Okay, okay, folks at home, folks at home, as my brother Cass LeVere says, we are headed right now to Brahmin's Chinese Theater to go see Nitro Circus' new movie. There must be some fan going on over here. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel Live. Check it out. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Who's playing? Who's playing on Jimmy Kimmel tonight, you guys? Whoever's playing on Jimmy Kimmel's live on stage right now. Yes! Hi, ah, you're on the vlog. Say hello. Oh my god, I never saw it. Can you make this? Oh, snap! <laughs> All right, here we are. Hollywood. I'm really excited. I love Nitro Circus. If you guys have seen Devin Supertramp's new video, the paintball one, where the motorcycles are jumping and they have those cars and stuff, these guys are insane. I can't wait to see this movie. It's going to be awesome. Nitro Circus 3D. Okay, you guys, we just got done watching the Nitro Circus movie. It was amazing. That was my dream come true as a kid. Just hanging out with your buddies, doing crazy stunts, just because you wanted to like, make your friends like... 
jumping off things, jumping off high things. That's why this is this movie is the reason why me and Casey started Bro Ventures. Just doing things like this to feel free and just to get out there and you know, every time my mom said, You're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get hurt, and I was always saying, you know, only real men ever live. You know, I can't even talk because my adrenaline's going so fast. You guys might know this dude. This is street bike Tommy. I'm in your face. He's in your face. You don't know him yet, but a lot of you probably do. But this guy is a movie star. Wait till this movie comes out. He's gonna be all over everywhere. He's the funniest dude in the movie. <laughs> he does some of the craziest stunts in the movie. He had the biggest injury in yeah. the movie. Just watch the uh, for the beard. The bearded man. Right now. You look completely different. You guys have got to go see this movie when it comes in theaters. Nitro Circus in 3D. It was amazing. I was on the edge of my seat the entire freaking time. This guy made me crack up like through the whole freaking movie. Uh, Street Bike Tommy. The only you guys might know him from. Well, uh, shut up. A lot know. of you know him from Nitro Circus. Yeah. But the Street Bike Tommy was he when he flew off. The, what, when did the, how I was on the project. That? That's 2004, July 21st, Travis Pastrana's house. Life flight out, you know, broken bones, still hurts to this day. Can't stay in cold weather because my stuff all aches. <laughs> it all aches, but he is hilarious in the movie. You guys go check it out. It's coming in theaters August 10th. It's amazing. Nitro Circus. Thank you, dude. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you. you seriously packed me up the whole hey, movie. I had fun tonight. Yeah, bro. Thank you Thanks so for much. coming out yeah. and uh, go see it August 10th. It's going to be sweet. Love the movie, guys. It was awesome. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I'm like freaking out right now. My adrenaline is still going. Travis this Pastrana. This is why you're freaking out. Travis Pastrana is right there. This dude is the first double backflip ever on, on motocross. Has broken like probably every bone in his body. Together with pins and stuff. needles. Yeah. Yeah. Get a picture. I'm going to get a picture okay. with him right now. Okay, yes, that was Travis Pastrana and Johnny Knoxville getting a picture together. And people are looking to be funny for vlogging, but I don't care. Uh, Steve O is right over here, also. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, ladies. I think just to round off the star studded night, we should check out Michael Jackson's star on the Walk of Fame. There he is, right there. Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Maybe we can get Corey Vidal over here to do some dance moves. Would, I, think, I think it would be a disrespect. What I was going to ask, is it like blasphemous yeah, if you, you did? Can't do it. You can't do it. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. You could do a few moves. Come on, Michael Jackson would probably be. Yeah, I mean, he would want his yeah. dances to move on to live yeah, on, you know? That's it. That's all, that's that's all you're going to do? That's all you're going to do. Corey Vidal doing the Michael Jackson. I don't know if it's called the Michael Jackson. What do you think of the movie? Dude, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. I loved it. That is just exactly the kind of movie I've always wanted to be a part of and watch with my eyeballs. And good thing I had them. I brought both of them with me. So Yeah, or else it wouldn't have been in 3D. And there's Parks Bonifay right there. Hey, Parks. Michael Jackson. Woo! Yes! <laughs> this is the coolest night of my life. Woo! <laughs> okay, so I'm starting to finally like calm down a little bit. I, I, I don't know if I was starstruck, but I think I'm really just really amped up from the movie, and I was a huge adrenaline junkie growing up. That's what I was trying to say in the theater, is that's why me and Casey started Bro Ventures, is because growing up, we loved doing stuff like that. We loved jumping off stuff with our bikes, whether it was like skateboards. there and meeting those guys, like shaking your hand was cooler than like if I would have met like... Oh. Totally, Bob like, Redford, yeah, like actors or whatever, yeah. because those guys are real athletes that can do amazing they don't things. Act. They do. You guys got to see that movie when it comes out. Nitro Circus in 3D. I think it said August 10th. It comes out in theaters. You'll see what I'm talking about when you go see it. You'll be on the edge of your seat the entire time. What an opportunity to come to this the screening and uh, I think they said that the actual premiere is uh, the 8th of August and they said they we can come back again for that which I am already excited for uh, but that was a blast and it's because of you guys honestly the reason I am able to come to things like this is because you guys watch our videos and so you know people see that you know I have an audience of people that will watch us and so it's like well if you know we invite them then they'll you know show their audience and then they'll go see the movie 
which is fine because I loved it. <laughs> it was amazing. It was a blast and it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had to like be next to those guys. And you gotta see the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, you're, I'm a little more amped up because they're jumping over these 500, what was that hotel they jumped over? It was 400 like, feet. 400 feet they jump uh, between these hotels and they drop this watermelon off this hotel and to see what happened. It there disintegrated. Was, there, was there wasn't there was rinds, there wasn't seeds left. It like, it went into mist almost. It was insane. And it was, where'd they have to go? Panama? Panama. Because yeah. they're, a lot of the things that they do are illegal. So they have to go to like different countries. Amazing movie. I can't wait till it comes out. I'll probably see it four more times. Yeah. It's funny too. Like it wasn't necessarily just like adrenaline the whole time. It was really funny because of uh, Street Bike Tommy. He was hilarious. You guys saw him. He, they're all talked funny, to him dude. They're just, that's the thing. They're not like, they're not actors or anything. They're just doing stuff. And the things that come out of their mouth are unscripted. It's just funny stuff. It's just guys hanging out doing crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Kind of like Bro Venture. Yeah, check out Bro Venture. <laughs> Maybe we'll get them to be in a bro venture yeah. one of these days. Anyways, they they awesome. To do a stunt though, so. Oh, we might seriously, we might actually be able to get to do something with them one of these days. I don't know what it will be, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> probably awesome do night. Anything that they did in that movie, probably right? <laughs> They'll have to like. But anything else will dumb do. it down a little yeah. bit for me and Casey. But that's, that was a that's, blast. That's the impression I got after that video is. We are huge wussies. <laughs> so you would jump out of a plane with parachutes. Right. You jump out of planes with nothing. Yeah. With smiles on their face. With smiles on their face. Anyways, awesome night. Awesome movie. Loved it. Had a blast. Thank you, everybody at Nitro Circus, for having us out. That was awesome. Hey there, guys. Welcome to another Shaytards and Slate. Today, we have for you, as usual, yesterday's vlog to your left. And to your right, we have a brand new podcast with Jackson Harris. And in this podcast, you can find Jackson Harris talking about how he got to make out with this hot chick from Pretty Little Liars in his new music video. So yeah, if you're a fan of Pretty Little Liars or just a fan of hot chicks, definitely check that out. And then we got the one, two, and three in the middle for what the Shade Hearts were doing one year ago, two years ago, and three years ago. And in the video from three years ago, it is just YouTuber saturated. You got Philip DeFranco, Shane Dawson, Lisa Nova, Dave Days, all kinds of YouTubers all up in that video. And that's everything for today, guys. I hope we get to see you at VidCon this weekend. And if you couldn't make it, don't worry, we'll be updating you as much as possible. Okay, bye guys.